Hi there, my name is Megan Taylor and I'm a doctoral student at the Texas Center for Performing Arts Health where we study musicians' health. In light of COVID-19, we have expanded our work to create these videos for student musicians to learn about instrument hygiene. Later in this video, you will learn how to clean your instrument. For now, I would like to remind you of some of the personal hygiene habits that can help keep our instruments clean. I know this can feel like a lot um, of things to try to remember when you're trying to play your instrument, uh, but the good news is that we're all in this together. Talk with your classmates and your teachers about how you plan to keep yourself and others safe during band and orchestra class. Also, remember to ask your teachers if you have any questions or if you need any help with anything that you're about to see in the remainder of this video. From all of us here at the We Mean Clean Project, Thank you for watching and stay healthy. Hello, my name is Justin Hooper. My coworker, Ann McMillan, and myself run the University of North Texas Instrument Repair Shop. Our jobs are to provide repair services to the university students, the university owned instruments, and the surrounding community. In addition to this, we teach classes in brass and woodwind instrument repair and maintenance, as well as offer workshops and clinics for band directors and music educators. We are excited to be partnering with the Texas Center for Performing Arts Health and the Texas Academy of Math and Sciences to bring you these series of videos on how to properly clean your instruments at home. Please note that this type of cleaning does not sterilize or disinfect an instrument, but if done on a regular basis, will keep your instrument in good working order and free of harmful buildup. If you feel your instrument needs that kind of attention, we urge you to please reach out to your local music store or your band director for further guidance. We would also like to note that you need to follow the instructions very precisely. Any deviation from the instructions as outlined in the video could cause harm to your instrument or yourself, so please be advised. If you have any questions about anything you've seen in these videos, please feel free to reach out to either Anne or myself. We hope you find these videos very helpful and informative. Thanks. Hi, my name is Lilia and I'm a student at the Texas Academy of Math and Science where I play um, the cello in our orchestra. And today I'll be showing you how to properly clean your cello, which is super important during this pandemic, and also especially if you're renting an instrument from your school. So to clean the cello itself, you'll need some sort of cloth. I used to, I like to use this little towel. Um, if you don't have one of these, you can also use any sort of rag or towel or a cotton t-shirt, as long as it's clean. Um, if you have a hard case, you'll need some sort of wet wipes. I have these furniture wet wipes, or you can use furniture polish and a paper towel. Um, if you don't have either of those, I would just recommend using a wet paper towel. Um, if you have a soft case, you won't be needing any of those. Um, so first I'm just gonna show you how to clean the cello itself. Okay. Adjust this. So of course you want to, um, so I have my little cloth here, and basically you're just gonna wipe down the whole thing. It's pretty simple. Um, I would just start with the body and wipe it completely down. You wanna rid of any rosin or dust, um, dirt, just anything that may be on it. So just get all over the front body first is my recommendation. And then I would get the sides, make sure to get all of like the crevices and any like edges, cause that's where a lot of dirt can build up. Um, get down the sides here and make sure to do the other side as well. Again, this like type of crack, a lot of um, dirt can get in there. So make sure you really wipe that down um, and then use this completely along the side. And then for the back, it's the exact same thing. Just wipe it down completely. This side should not be as dirty, but of course you still want to wipe it down and make sure to get these edges here. Um, cause again, dirt can build up in these cracks. So I would just kind of take your towel and completely wipe down that part. And then make sure to get like the base of your scroll part there. And then I think, um, the most important part is just getting like under the bridge and above the bridge. Cause that's where a lot of rosin goes, as you probably know, um, and a bunch of dirt. So make sure to get down there really well. And then. For the fret, you're going to want to just kind of 
of course you want the whole thing clean so i would recommend just taking your towel and kind of like pushing up underneath the string a little bit but you want to be gentle of course um and kind of get in between each one just like that and then at the um, bottom of um, of your fingerboard, you have um, kind of this part right here, that like edge, you wanna wipe that down really well. You can already see there's a ton of dirt um, on mine. Um, a ton of rosin can build up there. And I would recommend gently wiping down your strings, especially at the bottom where there's a ton of rosin buildup, but do be gentle because um, it's more sensitive than just wiping down the wood, of course. Get the bridge as well. Um, and then just kind of go up and down the neck, get your scroll and your pegs and everything. Um, and then also the bottom as well, probably not as sturdy, but it would be good to get that. And also the little like handle of your end pin um, can get dirty, of course, if you're touching it. Um, every day. So that's basically it. It's really simple. Just taking your towel and wiping down um, the whole thing, make sure to get all the edges and the cracks because that's where a lot of um, uh, dirt and rosin builds up and especially along all along here and down in this area where the rosin builds up. So that's basically it. It's super simple. And then once you're done with that, you're going to want to clean your bow as well. So I have my bow here in my case. Um, so of course your bow might be super dirty because our hands are always on it. So I recommend first tightening it a little bit so you can take your towel and kind of run it up and down the wooden part like this and then getting the frog and the tip and that's pretty much it for that. Um, you don't want to wipe down the hair or anything, um, just leave that be. And then of course, loosen it completely once you're done. I put it back in my case. And then for the case part, so if you have, if you have a hard case like mine, um, as I said, I have like wet wipes here. So I'm just gonna take a wipe. And I'm basically going to do the same thing I did with the cello, just wipe it completely down. Um, of course, it can get dirty because we like roll it outside or um, you might not have wheels, but um, it's constantly outside and just in different places. So of course, you want to wipe this down completely, just get everywhere. Um, now, if you have a soft case, you don't want to get that wet, whether that's like cloth or leather. Um, so I would only do this if you have a hard case. Um, like I said, you can use this or a paper towel with a furniture um, cleaner, or you can use just a wet paper towel if you don't have any of those. Um, if you have a soft case, um, I would recommend just taking a paper towel, honestly, or another um, towel or rag and just wiping it down. Um, it might not be as good as one of these but of course you don't want to get that type of thing wet so that's pretty much it you just want to get everywhere make sure to get the back side and all along the sides um, and then especially your little like latches if this is what you have on your hard case look something like this you want to get those nicely because like um of course you're touching those all the time so you wipe, wipe those down really good um, every single one. And then also, if you have wheels in the bottom, so I have wheels, so I'm going to lay mine down gently. And so now I can just clean these wheels right here because um, obviously they're probably super dirty. Um, if you don't have wheels, of course, you don't have to worry about that, but if you do, Strongly so recommend wiping those down as well. And like I said, all the latches and everything. Um, that's basically it. Of course, when you're done, just put your towel back in the case, make sure your bow is loosened. And yeah, it's super simple, just wiping down everything. Make sure you get those spots where a bunch of rosin and dirt can build up. 
um, and getting your bow, don't forget that part. Um, but yeah, super simple. All you will need is a towel and some other cleaning supplies if you have them.